the benefits of, of video recording lectures with a tablet. And I'm Dylan Cromart. Okay, my inspiration, I was watching a TED Talk. I'm sure you all know TED Talks with this guy called Simon Khan. He started the Khan Academy. The video was called Let's Use Video to Reinvent Education. And I was inspired to record my lectures. I found we would have the following solutions to some of these problems. Number one, in the beginning of term, in the, in the year, there's no students in class because they're all stuck in registration. Right? So that's what your classes look like. Also, students constantly pestering you with questions that you actually did cover in class. Another one is students coming from oral traditions, so they learn through listening better than what they learn through reading. And also because I teach ECP students, wanting to provide more resources for them to learn. Okay, the first option I thought, okay, how am I going to record my lectures? Option one, using a laptop. But that means that I'm stuck to standing behind the laptop for the entire lesson so that it can pick up my audio, my voice. And also, there are some uh, programs that you can use, like Cam Studio, but I found that it bombed out a few times. There's another one called Camtasia, which is very good, but it's very expensive. And um, also, how do I record my notes that I'm writing on the board, which are also very important. The second option is to obviously use a video camera, but this requires, a video camera can only focus on one small area at a time, so you can either only focus on your PowerPoint slides or on your whiteboard notes, or you can get someone to, you know, move it around for you, but then you're going to have to employ someone, so that's not practical. This is kind of what it looks like if you're trying to include everything. You can see the, the whiteboard is very fuzzy as well as the PowerPoint. You can't really see everything. So the third option, naturally, was a tablet. One, because it could work, and two, because I really wanted a tablet, so this is a good excuse to get one. And this would allow me to use a stylus to actually write, put the whiteboard notes, uh, write the whiteboard notes on the tablet and record that. Also, it would allow me to move around while I'm lecturing. And so I could lecture from any point in the class and continue to speak as I go along. And as you can see there, it would also record my PowerPoint slides just like it is doing right now. So, which one to buy? Well, I chose the Galaxy Note 10.1 because it would integrate well with my Windows laptop as well as other Android devices. Also, it has built-in teaching functions. So, for example, it has this um, formula match. If you draw the formula, it will instantly match it and put it onto the tablet. So, what do you need to set this up? Hardware-wise, you need a tablet with a stylus. You also need this little thing called the Samsung All Share dongle, which connects what's happening on your tablet wirelessly to the projector. And then you also need a laptop, uh, sorry, a projector with an HDMI port, very important. Software-wise, you need mirroring software, which takes this, what's happening here, and puts it onto the projector. You need a good presentation software or an app. You need a good screen recording app. I use SCR Pro. And then you also need some form of editing software. I use Windows Movie Maker to edit the videos once they've been recorded for better use um, by the students or to prepare them for students. Okay, so what are the benefits? Number one, students are visually stimulated these days, right? So they engage well with visual content. It allows them to pause, rewind, pause, rewind, and listen to things they don't understand over and over and over. Also, they sometimes get stuck in public transport so they can't get to class. So this allows them to catch up what they missed out on. It allows them to prepare well for their exams before the time. I also combine it with little tests on Blackboard. So they have to watch a video and then they do a test immediately afterwards to check if they actually understood what they were doing. And next year I plan to use it to flip my classroom. I've recorded every single one of my classes. And next year I would like to use it to get the students to watch the videos at home. And then we do more fun stuff in class. Okay, what do students say? I'm just going to underline this so that you can see what exactly. In class, the student, you get distracted by a lot of things, but when you're watching the lectures at home, you're in a comfortable environment with no distractions. You can easily watch the whole video, but it's not so easy to get read through a whole chapter in the textbook because after the first 10 minutes, you lose interest. Isn't that interesting? Students lose interest with 10 minutes of reading, but they can watch an hour and a half video. Right? Oh, let me just close that. Okay, so if you'd like to have, if you if you want any more, if you have any questions for me, you can contact me on dhcromhot at gmail dot com, and I'll just show you this cool little thing, which actually does makes blocks immediately as you draw them. Look at this. <laughs> Thank you very much.